Let's start learning about directives in Angular with a built-in directive called ng4. In this lecture, we will learn what is the use of ng4 directive and we will try to understand it with some of the use cases. The Angular ng4 directive iterates over a collection of data, for example, an array or a list, and then it creates an HTML element for each of the items from an HTML template. The ng4 directive is used to repeat a portion of HTML template once per each item for an iterable list. This ng4 directive, it is a structural directive. That means it manipulates the DOM by adding or removing elements from the DOM. In this case, when we use ng4 directive, it basically iterates over a list and for each item in that list, it is going to add an HTML element in the DOM. Let's try to understand ng4 directive with some examples. And here, let me go ahead and let me close this search component.ts and also this search component.html. Let me close this folder as well and let's go to our product list component.html. So here we are using our search component. After that, what I will do is I'll create a div element. And on that div, I will use ng4 directive. Now keep in mind that this ng4 directive is a structural directive. So when we use a structural directive, before that structural directive, we also need to use an asterisk. Keep this point in mind. Because in this way, we are telling Angular that this directive which we are using here, it is a structural directive and it is going to manipulate the DOM. Then inside these double quotes, we can write any TypeScript expression. So here what we want to do is, we want to create a variable. Let me call it item in and then let's specify an array here. And in this array, let's say we have some items, maybe two, three, four, five, six, and eight. So basically here we have an array, which is a list, and we want to loop over this list. For that, we are using this ng4 directive, and that is basically the use of ng4 directive. We use ng4 directive to loop over an array or a list. Here we have a list, and on that list, we are looping over using this ng4 directive. And for each iteration, the element for that iteration will be assigned to this item variable. So when we are looping over this array, for the first iteration, this 2 will be assigned to this item variable. For the second iteration, this 3 will be assigned to this item variable. For the third iteration, this 4 will be assigned to this item variable and so on. Okay. And for each iteration, let's say we want to add a paragraph in the web page. So here, let me go ahead and let me add a paragraph. And there, let's say current element of arrays. And then we want to display the current element on which this ng4 is currently iterating over and we will have that current element in this item variable so here let's use string interpolation syntax and there we want to use that item variable okay with this if i save the changes and if i go to the web page here no paragraph is being displayed let's check the console if we have any error and it says can't bind to ng4 in since it isn't a known okay that's because when we are using the ng4 directive, there instead of in, we need to use off. Okay, let item off the list. And with this, if I save the changes, and if we go to the web page, now you see for each iteration, this paragraph is being rendered. Okay, so total we have six element, and for each element, this div is being repeated. And in that div, this value is dynamically changing based on on which element we are currently iterating over. So this is the use of ng4 directive. We use ng4 directive to loop over a list. And if I go to the web page and if we open the developer console here in the elements tab, let me move this a little bit down. Here you will notice that that div is being rendered six times. So that div has been added in the DOM six times and here since using ng4 directive we are adding something to the dom that's why it is a structural directive all right let me go ahead and let me close this developer console so i hope with this simple example now you understand how this ng4 directive works now here we are using this ng4 directive to loop over this array and we have defined this array inside the view template itself but now what i will do is i will go to this product list component.ts from here, let's remove everything because now we are not using any of these methods or properties. So I'll simply remove it from here. 
Okay, and now inside this product list component, we don't have any other property here. Let's go ahead and let's create a new property. Let's call it maybe list of string. It is going to be an array of string. For that, we need to specify something like this. Okay, and to this, let's assign an array. And inside this array, let's specify some string values, maybe some names. Okay, and now what we want is, we want to loop over this list of string array using ng for directive. So here, we were declaring that array in the view template itself. But now we can remove this array from here. And now, using this ng for directive, we want to loop over this list of string array. So we can use it inside these double quotes, because as I mentioned, inside these double quotes, you can write any TypeScript expression. And now this ng for directive, it will loop over this list of string array, basically this array. And for each iteration, it is going to render a new paragraph in the DOM with this content and then the element on which the ng for loop is currently looping over. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page and let's see that. So now you will see current element of arrays and then the element of that array has been rendered here. So this is how we can use ng for directive. We use ng for directive to loop over a list. So with these two examples, now I hope it is clear what is ng for directive and how can we use it to loop over a list. Now let's see a practical example of this ng for directive. So I will simply comment this code here. I'll keep it for your reference. Let's save the changes and let's close this product list component.html and product list component.ts file. And now let's go to our header component. In there, we have this main menu component. And if we go to the HTML file of this main menu component, there we are defining some anchor elements. Now what I want is, I want to create an array and in that array, we will specify all the menu items, for example, home, products, about and contact. And then we will loop over that array and from that array, we will generate the anchor elements dynamically. Let me show you what I actually mean. So here, let's go to this TypeScript file, to this main menu component class. In there, let's go ahead and let's create a property and let's call it main menu items. This is going to be an array. And here, let me also specify the type of this array. So it is going to be of string type and it is going to be an array. And in there, let's specify the menu items which we want in our app. So I want the home page. I also want the products page. I want maybe sale page. So basically in this page, we will display all the products which is currently on sale. Let's also say new arrival. Then let's have contact. And for now, let's only keep these menu items. So now what we want is we want to loop over this main menu items array and then based on that we want to display menu items in the web page. So let me save this file and let's go to our main menu component.html file. And in there, I'll simply remove this. So basically we want to repeat the anchor element, right? So here let's create an anchor element. On that anchor element, since we want to repeat this anchor element, on that anchor element we will use ng for directive and since this ng for directive is a structural directive let's use asterisk before it and in here let's create a variable let's call it menu so you can name your variable anything of and then let's specify the list on which we want to loop over using this ng for directive and in this case we want to loop over this main menu item sorry so i'll copy this property name i'll paste it here and then in here we want to display the menu name. So inside this menu, we are going to have the current item value on which this ng4 is looping over. So for the first iteration, this menu will be assigned with home. For the second iteration, this menu will be assigned with products and so on. And we want to display that value in here. So here, let's simply say menu. Then for this anchor element let's also go ahead and let's add an href tag and for now i will simply say pound 
later we will see how we can add the href tag dynamically but for now this should be it let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you see those menu items have been rendered here if we go ahead and if we add a new menu item inside this array for example services and if i save the changes we don't have to create a new anchor item in the html it will dynamically generate that anchor item so if i go to the web page you will see that services is also rendered here so this is how we can use ng for directive in our angular application to loop over a list and based on that generate some html content dynamically this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day